This is a picture of me one year ago, disappointed with how my body looked and wanting nothing but to feel better and more confident within it. This is me a year later with a whole new physique looking and feeling much better. Previous to this transformation, if you will, I tried many different training methods, diets, and exercises until I ultimately found the training program that fits me the best and has shown me amazing results. Today, I'm here to share that with you as it's been very highly requested across my other platforms. I'm going to walk you through my complete workout routine, my splits, sets, reps, etc. along with all the equipment I used and still use to build my physique. Let's start with the equipment I use. I train at home, so all of my workouts are done from the comfort of my own room. I use a pull-up bar, adjustable dumbbells, a backpack to put weights in, lifting straps, and I also have that dip station over there, which I don't really use as much. I'll link all of my equipment down in the description below if you'd like to check anything out, but yeah, I keep it pretty minimal and cost effective. The most expensive piece of equipment being my adjustable dumbbells, which are like $400, but everything else is pretty inexpensive, like my pull-up bar, which was only $16. And I've also had that backpack since like elementary school. See, the thing is, you don't need a ton of equipment, if any, to build muscle. Hey, it's all about consistency and intensity. So I'm currently running a five-day push pull legs X Arnold split, which I've been on for about four or five months now. For me, transitioning from the traditional six-day push pull leg split, this split has allowed me to make so much more progress or at least that's what I feel. I think I benefit heavily from the additional rest day and I think a lot of people would probably agree that they do as well. Hey, rest is important, remember that. For all of my exercises, regardless of whatever I'm training that day, each set is taken to complete failure or mechanical failure, which means I cannot get another clean rep out. I do this as I wanna stimulate as much growth as possible. Now, let's break down the specific days. I may or may not do a series of follow-up videos showing me actually doing the exercises, so for this video, I'm just gonna list them and talk through them. I might show a few though, I'm not sure yet. So day one, push day, which is targeting the chest, shoulders, and triceps. All right, another thing really quick, most of my exercises, if not all of my exercises, I believe, are just two sets to failure. Just go to complete failure, or I might do a drop set, or we'll get into that. All right, anyways, I start push day off with two sets of deficit pushups for the chest. Definitely an underrated exercise. The stretch you get on your pecs on these is insane. Next, standing dumbbell shoulder press to hit the overall shoulder. Then close grip push-ups. I do these for the triceps, but they also hit chest as well. After that, got lateral raises, which I usually include a drop set on, which means once I hit failure on the first weight, I'll drop the weight and then hit failure once again. To finish up push day, got the lying dumbbell skull crusher. Basically lay on the ground, get the dumbbells over your head like that, and you're just gonna go into pushing motion. Favorite exercise for the triceps, or one of my favorites. So yeah, push day, I keep it pretty simple. No, it may not be the most optimal as most of my training days aren't, but I do with what I have. All right, y'all, it's a whole brand new day. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I was not feeling the best yesterday when recording this, so we're picking it up. I don't even know where we left off. I think we're on pull day now. So we're gonna resume it and we're gonna bring back more energy. Hey, and drink your water. This is not a tip in here. Drink your water. You know, this, this stuff is so good for you. It cleanses. <laughs> y'all, just drink your water. It's really good for you. Hold up. Sorry about that. <laughs> let's, let's resume. Day two, pull day, which is targeting back, biceps, and rear delts. Remember, again, everything two sets to failure. So I start this day off with weighted pull-ups. These actually make me want to jump off a bridge. Yeah, these are very physically demanding, but they're great for developing your lats. And I think they're pretty underrated as well. After that, I do neutral grip pull-ups, which is just holding the bar in the neutral grip position rather than the pronated. Then dumbbell bicep curls, where I always make sure to go slow on the eccentric portion. Next, rear delt flies, and if I'm being honest, I genuinely don't know if I'm doing these correctly till this day, but I've seen significant growth in my rear delt since I started doing them. And then lastly, I end with hammer curls. Also forgot to mention that on the bicep curls and hammer curls, I implement drop sets, so once I hit failure on one weight, I'll decrease the weight and then hit failure again. So like push day, I keep pull day simple and effective as well. Okay, I think I might have filmed that whole previous session in 30 FPS, so I apologize if the quality like just drops. All right, moving on, day three, which is an active rest day. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say my active rest days are always active. No, but I do at least try to go outside and get steps in, you know, walking a trail or something. All right, now, day four, legs and forearms. So we're talking the quads, hamstrings, calves, forearm extensors, and forearm flexors. Again, as you know, two sets to failure of everything. Starting this day off with Bulgarian split squats. Now, I absolutely despise this exercise, yet I still do it because it's an absolutely amazing leg exercise. Next, dumbbell RDLs. I go pretty heavy on these, but still keep the movement very controlled. Then standing calf raises, I'll either do this on one foot or both, and when I do both, I'll add weight by holding dumbbells. Now onto forearm work, for the wrist flexors, I do dumbbell inward curls, and for the wrist extensors, I do reverse curls. Which is another very underrated exercise as it really develops your brachioradialis. 
and then as far as like core work i won't lie and say i'm consistent with direct core and ab training i'll just throw them in sometimes okay so basically as i went to edit this video i found that after leg day the footage just just stops it goes from leg day there's a gap and then it's outro so i'm missing two of my training days i think i might have accidentally deleted them or something i'm not entirely sure we're just gonna go over those now and then the outro will be back to the outfit i was wearing in the second part <laughs> okay so day four was legs and forearms now day five is chest and back targeting obviously the chest and back scratch that it's not chest and back anymore i forgot that i switched it it's back and shoulders <laughs> targeting the back and shoulders sorry i'm like all over the place right now <laughs> discovering that my footage was just deleted was not very fun so as you can probably guess i start this day off with weighted pull-ups then onto dumbbell shoulder press and then move on to the neutral weighted neutral grip pull-ups then the peak exercise of lateral raises then i'll either end with reared up flies or dumbbell rows most of the time it's probably reared up flies honestly just depends on how i'm feeling and if i don't end up hitting reared delts i'll just hit them within my arm day which is the next day day six arm day targeting the triceps and biceps so i always start arm day off with triceps it just feels much better to start off with triceps rather than biceps so close grip push-ups to start and then i like to alternate between triceps and biceps so the next exercise would be dumbbell bicep curls then after that the floor skull crushers for the triceps and then end with hammer curls that day is four to five exercises depending on whether i did rear delts the day before if i did not do rear delts the day before after hammer curls i would do rear delt flies yeah so from here the next day is an active rest day just try to get out get moving more and really embrace the rest to make sure i'm recovering properly okay now we're gonna revert back to a couple days ago so yeah that's pretty much it for my workout routine i keep things simple but still very effective and it has worked great for me now emphasis on the for me this routine has shown me amazing results and it fits my schedule and lifestyle but it may not fit into yours or give you the same results everyone is different different schedules routines preferences etc so if you'd like to take anything from my routine and implement it into your own i highly recommend just testing it out first so then you can see if you like it and if it gives you results i just know i'd definitely be honored if you like to take something from my routine and apply it to your own all right i hope this video was useful helpful or maybe just entertaining for you once again if you'd like to take something from my routine please go ahead you know i try not to gatekeep thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one